Alrighty, folks. Welcome back to the channel. You're watching Duty's Daggers, and it's an unboxing day today. This is a knife that I bought secondhand recently. I uh, saw that someone was selling it on Instagram and said, hey, I need that. I want that. And I bought it. It was a good price, and um, I'm really stoked to check it out. Let's do it. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Look down there. Make sure the button has been clicked. And follow me on Instagram, duties underscore daggers. I will say there is a huge announcement coming soon of a epic giveaway that's going to be happening on my channel. So you want to make sure that you know when that's happening. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. Using the, uh, the Case Copperlock Warncliffe to open the package up here. I want to say something about Case really quick here. I'm done. I think I'm done buying Case knives. Um, their quality control and fit and finish is just not there. You know, uh, I'm tired of, I, I think I've bought six so far. Every single one has been off-centered, some worse than others. Um, almost all of them have some sort of fit and finish issue aside, in addition to the centering. Um, and they are too expensive to have these issues. They, they just are. Um, I'm done with it, you know? And it really sucks because uh, I want to buy U.S. made. You know, I want to support an American knife manufacturer. Um, but with these issues, I just can't, man. I'm, I'm already returning two case knives um, that uh, that just isn't good. And that's not just case. Um, also happened with this uh, straight old timer. I bought it because it was. I thought it was cool that they make these in the USA again. And look at that centering, just absolutely awful. Um, you know, there's there's a spot down here where the the blade has been rubbing. Right down there. Just I don't know, man. Um, you know, the GEC here is the only U.S. made traditional that I've bought since I've been getting into knives that has perfect centering and zero issues. Um, so I'm going to keep buying some GECs here and there. Uh, you know, they're definitely more expensive than case knives, but not a, a whole crap ton more expensive. Um, and I think I'm done with case, you know? Uh, I just, it, I'm, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I'm over it. Now there are going to be a few exceptions. I do really want a copper lock. Uh, or sorry, a tribal lock. Um, do want a case tribal lock, and um, maybe one other. I think I, I might like the peanut, maybe a sway back, but that's it. I'm done. And speaking of GEC, looky here, baby. <laughs> Look at that. It's my second ever GEC, and it's a small guy. This is um, the little rattler. 2.8 inch single blade little rattler. Um, I think this was I saw it and I thought this would be a really good um, kind of fifth pocket knife. Red coral canvas micarta, nice. Hell yeah, dude! Let's get in here. I burnt my fingers really bad yesterday, and I think I have such uh, tough calluses that it, it didn't blister, but man, did it hurt! And they're still quite sensitive. There we go. Oh, we got the pin. Awesome. My first pin. A little rattler number 19. <laughs> awesome, dude. Hell yeah. My first GEC pin. Oh, it's for Frank's. Um, someone was just telling me about Frank's. Cool. All right. Let's open this baby up. All right. Awesome. I was just saying the other day that I really wanted um, some micarta covers on something, and it happened. Look at this. I love that maroon color. We got the uh, the shield-shaped shield there. Inlaid in very nicely. Man, this is going to be a pretty good cutter. <laughs> Look at the, uh, the blade stock. Perfectly centered. Oh, yeah. Let's pop the blade open. 
All right. Yeah, it's definitely a little knife. Not super uh, strong walk and talk, but I think that's appropriate for a smaller knife. It's definitely nice and snappy. It's just not, not as strong. Yeah, that's I'm perfectly good with that. Looks like we got a little bit of... Is that like a rust spot? Or I don't know what that is. A little dark spot right there. Yeah, no worries. Um, this is, yep, 1095. In fact, I haven't seen any GECs in stainless yet. Somebody in the comments tell me if they're even, if they even do make them in stainless. I don't know. If they do have some models in stainless steels. <laughs> this is nice, man. Just get a nice little slit for this. Stick it right in your, uh, your coin pocket. You got a really good little utility cutter. Yeah, this is real thin behind the edge too. Holy crap! Oh, definitely needs some sharpening. Got some writing on the blade there. A little rattler. It's kind of uh, almost looks faded. I don't know if it comes like that or if it, if you know, this wears down over time. This is a 2020 um, model, so it's not this. You know, it's not super old. Uh, speaking of the, the numbers back there, I just recently learned what the numbers mean, and I think it's so cool, man, how they do it. Um, we'll look on this one because it's easier to see. So every case has uh, six numbers printed on the tang somewhere. The first two is the, uh, the designation of, this, of that knife. This is the 78 because this is the 78 American Jack. Over here it's going to say 19 because this is the number 19 little rattler. The, uh, the next number, the two, is the blade shape. So uh, Case has a little legend that you can look on their website, um, and each blade shape has a number designated to it. Um, you know, uh, this isn't it, but number four would be like, you know, Warncliffe. Or actually, let's see, zero, I guess, might be Warncliffe, because this is a Warncliffe. Um, but number two is a spear point, and they're talking about the main blade. If there's two blades, they're talking about the main one. So two is spear point for the spear point. The next number, we have another two, and that's the number of blades. So two blades. Next number here is going to be a one, because it's a one-bladed one blade, one knife. And then the last two is the year. So this uh, number 78 here was a 2017 model. This one here, 2020. So that's just really cool to me. I, I, I love knives that are numbered, and um, especially a number with this much information in it, I think is so cool. I really, I really just love that. I think it's so, so cool. Um, so yeah, that just tells you everything you need to know about the knife. Um, so someone could say, uh, you know, I'm looking for a whatever, Two, three, nine, eight, three, four, whatever, <laughs> you know, and you could say, okay, that's a da da da, that's the that's a that's a whatever, buoy, two blader, made in the made in two thousand eighteen, whatever it is. So it's just cool. Um, I want to measure the thickness behind the edge here because this is really really thin. I love GEC. I just freaking love them. Eight thousandths, baby. Yep, eight thousandths. Awesome. Um, let's try to cut a little paper. It, it definitely needs, it needs a strap up, but let's just kind of see where we're at. Uh, where's my? Here we go. Okay, yeah, it's not that bad. Needs a good stropping up though. Very cool, man. Um, yeah. So, okay, uh, GECs are really hard to get um, new. Uh, I mentioned in one of the previous videos. I've I've tried three times. No, no, twice now, to score a GEC 
uh, you know, new uh, at a retailer during one of the releases, one of the drops. And I, every time I failed, um, they sold out so quickly that um, I, 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 I didn't make it. Um, I've heard that, uh, oh, I just noticed my covers both are kind of maroon now. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, Austin from Traditional Pocket Knives was saying that he suspects that some of these people might be using like third-party apps to try to um, check out faster, you know, get through the checkout process process uh, quicker, uh, or maybe they have just really quick, fast internet, or or who knows. Um, but whatever the reason, it's just very hard to be able to score one new. So in talking to a couple people, uh, you know, asking questions. Um, I have found that the Blade Forums is a place you can go. Um, obviously, the Reddit swap, the Reddit knife swap. Um, I've had the best luck so far on the, it's called the Great Eastern Cutlery Club group on in, uh, on uh, Facebook. Now, I don't go on Facebook at all, but um, I logged in to just so I could go take a look on there. Um, it's a group that um, that has uh, an ongoing thread where people post GECs that they have for sale. Um, so if you're looking for a GEC, those are a couple ways you can get one. Um, don't frustrate yourself by trying to score a new one. You know, go ahead and try, but just don't be too frustrated when you aren't able to get one because uh, it's just real tough. So you can, you can still get them. Um, I think even getting a used one is kind of... In a, in, in a certain way, it's kind of cooler <clears throat> because you have the date on it. You can see how old it is, you know. Um, it's kind of, you know, a little bit worn in, but you can tell it has some history. Um, so I don't know. I, I have no problem with it at all. Um, now, sometimes prices, secondary prices are pretty inflated, so be smart, you know. Um, the price on this was, I think it was inflated, but not by a whole lot at all. Um this one I paid um, seventy-five dollars for, and I don't know what they go for new, uh, but I felt like that was a price I was willing to pay um, for it. And um, yeah, that's about it. I'm a big fan, really big fan. I noticed this one says GEC on it too, down beneath the. Uh... Oh, it does say carbon steel. I was wondering, so you could you can't even really see it. But it says C A under the G E C, so I'm guessing. Is there any position where you can read that? No. That's kind of funny. It's like hidden back there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm curious. Let me know in the comments if Case even or if uh, G E C even works with stainless steels. It seems like they may not. Um, another thing I want to point out. I just did a cut test today with the um, the case Sodbuster Junior here, and um, it did it did okay. You know, I, I had to strap it a lot, um, but that's that's what I expected. Um, now, case doesn't necessarily specify on each knife what type of carbon steel they're using, or what type of stainless steel they're using. This is a carbon steel one. Um, they don't specify. It. Um, it could be like some kind of O1 tool steel or something like that. It could be really anything. If you know what it is most commonly or whatever, let me know. Uh, but GEC does specify that it is 1095 carbon steel, which is great because, you know, we know that 1095, when it's done correctly, is really good stuff, you know? Um, I, I believe that it's going to hold an edge much better than something like this. So I will be doing a, a little bit of a cut test um, with this GEC here. Nothing crazy um, because this is kind of one of my prized possessions. Um, but we'll definitely test out the edge and see how it holds up uh, because I, I do want to know, you know, I, I want to know. Um, so, yeah, just want to mention that. And that's about it, folks. Thanks for watching. I love you. Please like the video before you bounce on out of here, and I will see you soon. All right, peace, out.